and this is Gwen. Hey guys. We are the experimental expediters. Experimental expediters. We are on permanent vacation, a working vacation. We left our jobs, our corporate jobs, with secure incomes, daily, uh, weekly paychecks. Nine to five. Nine to five. <laughs> know what to expect every day. Kind of got bored of it. And we are on a paid vacation. It's been seven and a half months of fun, excitement. We've seen the whole country, Canada, Montreal, Toronto. And we are going to talk to you guys about it. How you might be able to do this as well. And you can join us for the adventure, the Experimental Expediters, right after this.
we are driving in a FedEx 40 foot expediter's truck. What's an expediter's truck? Well, it's an, in this case, it's a 40 foot box truck equipped with a refrigerated system, controls temperature, hot or cold. Um, has equipment, uh, communi computer communication equipment, and specifically branded for FedEx. So, you may have found this search by keywords of vacation, earn money on vacation, free vacation. Basically, that's what this is to us. So what do you what do you like to do on your vacation? You like to golf, you like to play tennis, you like to sit at the beach, you like to gamble, I like to go to casinos, um, I like to sightsee. We do that all over the country. And Lynn and I both quit our corporate jobs after several, several months of deliberation, homework, and we quit our jobs to be truck drivers. I've never driven a truck in my entire life. Did you? No. Nope. I drove buses for about a year. Where did you drive buses? I, um, in Orlando for about a year. Then I went back to Marriott, did that for a couple of years. And then Dan says, what if we start driving a truck? I'm like, no, because my grandbaby was on his way. Good timing. And I get to go home when I want, so. Are we having fun doing this? Love it. We Did love you, it. Were you were you sure about it when we left? No. no neither was I. No. No, so. no. A lot, I mean, you didn't know where the money was going to come from, or we were going to make money, if we were going to make the same, or more, or less. But it's all good. Everything's been good. Yeah, I wasn't sure either. Um, actually, when I went to you with the idea, I was hoping you'd talk me out of it. But you didn't. And um, we went over all the numbers. Uh, we're going to do a video on the decision making process. So basically, you've reached our first video of a series of where we're going to take you along with us on our daily operations and our daily fun outings, whether it be sightseeing or Disneyland, uh, Montreal, all over the country. Within the same week, we've actually been in California and Montreal. Um, that's how this is. So if you like to drive, if you like to be your own boss, if you like to have fun, go out to different restaurants all over the, the country, in Canada, US and Canada, and um, not I tell you what, every job I've ever had, I've been a sales manager in sales, I've had stress. This is not a stress-free job, but I'm, I don't think in my life I've ever been happier than I am right now. That's uh, true. You too? Yeah, yeah. And right now we're in Alabama. I mean, we left Tennessee this morning, or this afternoon, or well, this morning, and we leisurely drove to Alabama for a pickup. We're taking Alabama to Fort Indi what Fort Wayne, Indiana, for a drop off tomorrow. It's a temperature controlled surveillance, so you know that's why we have all this fancy equipment so they can keep track of their shipment, right? So we can't say what's in it or where exactly we're going or coming and all that stuff. So, well, we're not live video, so by the time you see this, we'll be up delivered. It's all there. Yeah, we're delivering tomorrow at nine, I believe. So we're going back to our where we started seven months ago, eight months ago. That's right. So, we made plans to go to a trade show for this particular industry. Uh, it was the Expeditors Expo in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And we figured we'd learn about it. We hadn't committed to it. We'd learn about the industry, see if it's something we're, we really want to do. And before the show, we'd already signed with this great fleet owner. So, FedEx doesn't own any of these trucks. Uh, they're owned by either yourselves, like people like you or me could own a truck or many trucks, or a fleet owner would, would buy many trucks and, and get people to drive. And that's what we're doing. We, we don't own the truck. We signed up with a company called Exam Transport. Um, Amazing people. They are. Um, they've been with, the, with us every step of the way while we're out on the road. Incredible support. Um, yeah. And you know, you know, it's new. You're worried. Are you really going to get paid? Are you going to make enough money to survive? You're, you, it's a lot of uh, self-created stress because of the unknown. Was it warranted? No. 
everything's been fairly smooth. We had a couple equipment breakdowns at the very beginning. Not the truck breakdown, but uh, a couple pieces of equipment on the truck broke down that got us all worried and upset. And every, uh, everything the owners took care of, no problems. Um, so we learned how to roll with the punches. But we, we see the whole country. Uh, what's your favorite part? What do you think? I think, I, well, I think waking up and saying, wow, where, where, what are we going to be doing today? Yeah. Where are we today? Yeah. What state are we in? What city? Every day's different. Every day's different. Even Maggie. We have little Maggie oh, yeah. here. We didn't introduce you to Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's here. This is our little poochie. And Maggie. She's um, Wanna say hi? seven year Wanna say hi? old Chihuahua mix. And she's our she's our little we go to the parks and stuff when we can. That's her that's her time. And it's usually the weekend because we're very busy driving during the week. So Saturdays and Sundays are usually for her, you know. But my favorite part I think is just waking up and saying, huh. I wonder where we are today. What are we going to be doing? I wonder if we're going to go sightseeing or go to a, a restaurant that, you know, is not a chain. It's, it's in that area, you know. Well, that's the thing. If we're, if we're on a run where we're, we're allowed to stop, every once in a while we're on a run where we're not allowed to stop the first 200 miles. Um, or we can't leave the truck alone. It has to be someone here. But if we see an interesting, like a tourist trap store or something we want to go and look at, a museum, right, yes. we can do it. Now, we parked right at the entrance to Hershey Park's um, World of Chocolate. Right at the entrance. They let us park our truck That's right in, there. That's uh, in Pennsylvania. In Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, that was, I think, one of our first sightseeing things we did. Uh, but we just went a couple weeks ago at Disneyland. I've worked at Disney World for five years. Uh, never been to, they haven't been to Disneyland since I was a teenager. Um, so, yeah, I'll tell you, this, this video and the series of videos after is for, the, for, for everybody, really. If you're interested in, and you're thinking about, you're tired of your day-to-day your -day 9 to 5 job, and you want, you, you want something to do, and you already have your commercial driver's license, um, and, and, you want, and you want to work for exam. Yeah, we, we're Melissa's happy with great. them. Melissa's great, Tina's great, yeah. Ollie, Ollie is the owner. He's got like 10 trucks out there, but... Maybe 12. Maybe 12, 10 or 12. So, yeah, and so if you have your A or B license, and if you don't have your license, you can go somewhere and get it. They like to have a year experience driving a commercial vehicle. A bus is fine, a dump truck is fine. Um, as long as you have your B license for a year, uh, we, how did I get my license? I was in sales management. I retired from that and went to work for Disney, the happiest place on earth. I got, uh, they taught me how to drive a bus. Great, great stress-free, relaxing job. I enjoyed it. Uh, after a year, I became a trainer. I trained people for a few years how to drive buses. And uh, one of my students was doing this before, and she had to leave. I think her husband couldn't do this anymore for health reasons. So she told me about it and I looked into it. It took several, several months to, to think about it and look into it. And, and finally we went for it. So what, what, where did you, what job were you in before? I worked for Marriott, the hotel. I was an auditor from 11 to 7. I've been doing audit like all my, all my life it seems like. And before that you did hotel uh, hospitality bookkeeping. Yeah. So you've been yeah. corporate. Corporate, yeah. Always in the hotel industry. And so now we're, this is like a fish out of the water. So we call ourselves the experimental expediters. And you know why that is? Because every day, we, or not so much now, because we've been doing it for seven, eight, almost eight months. But every day is something new. Every day we were learning something new. And, you know, we want to teach you guys not. You know, we had to learn every single thing there is to know. You will go to a class in Fort Wayne. In uh, Uniontown. Uniontown. And you'll be there for a week. And yeah, they teach you a whole lot of stuff. And you get all your certifications and stuff. But they don't tell, they don't tell you how to run all this equipment. And that is they, what they you They give you an overview, for. but until you actually yeah. get in the truck, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what we're here for, is to help you guys, you know, because there's all kinds of stuff you need to learn. Yeah. So you, 
you never drove a truck before. No. I never drove a truck before. So we got the keys to the truck. We get in. Boom. We're truck drivers. And um, we had to figure stuff out. We had a lot of resources available to us. Other drivers in our fleet. Videos uh, on uh, Expediter Kings, which is where this is. Uh, a lot of a lot of resources. People we can phone call anyone of the fleet. Other My favorite fleet. is the two guys. Um, Expedite Boogie. Is oh that yeah, them? yeah and um, the, the um, crafty truckers. Crafty truckers. And yeah. trucking couple. No. So there's resources out there that Not are. Not the trucking couple. Oh stop! We like the truck. No. So the resources out there that are available. People with experience, years of experience doing this. And what we want to do is bring to you, as newcomers, come along with us for our journey. Come along with us for the fun times. Come along with us for some of the frustrations we go through every once in a while. Um, see what our day-to-day -day operations are, what, what our, what the scenery is we see. You're going to get to ride with us in this truck and, and, and see for all the miles that we drive, some of the best scenery that we've ever seen. Driving through the Rocky yep. Mountains, driving through California, Arizona, yep. uh, Highway 89. Um, just, it's amazing. This country is so beautiful and all, all we've seen for the most part is flat Florida. Um, I've never, I've driven, I've been in different parts of the country, but never with a truck. And I've never been through all these side roads. We've driven through cornfields. Um, Sunflower fields. Oh. I mean, we've gone through um, cities. We went through New York. But you guys will see all that because we got a uh, crap ton of crap, crap of so other We're going to take you back in time. And we're going to start out with our first week at the, at the trade show, the Expeditors Expo in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, and, and tomorrow we get in a new truck. Tomorrow we're starting over again. We're all going over. to Fort Wayne, Indiana yep. tomorrow. We and we're going to pick truck. up. Uh, we're going to go, uh, for leaving Fort Wayne, we're going to go to Columbus uh, and pick up our brand new truck. So right now we're, we got a truck that's fantastic, and we're going to have a video to show you that truck next. But it's a what's brand in our new. truck? How do we live in a truck? You might ask yourself, <laughs> what? You're going to live in a truck? A lot of our trucks this is our home. have showers, toilets, stoves, microwaves with convection oven and broilers, uh, sinks. Uh, one or two beds. We have two right now. We're going to go to a, another truck. Uh, it's got a shower and a toilet built in. Uh, everything, a satellite dish TV. Direct, this thing is direct TV. She doesn't network. like bumps. She's coming your oh, way. Oh, here comes. Here. Come on, Mags. It's so Maggie's okay. got to sit on my lap when the truck starts bumping. She don't like that too much. Yeah, she don't like the bumps in the road. So, but it's pretty much a home. When, when I'm done driving, I go right back to my bed, and it's so cozy. Um, I think I, better than my bed at home. The mattress is. is <laughs> We're off. very tired by the time we hit the sack. So we've this done is Maggie. Ten she, hours of She's finally driving. coming alive here. She loves to look around and see the scenery. She's probably the best truck dog that anyone could have. Chihuahua Terrier mix. Um, but come along with us for the journey. There's a series of videos that some are going to show you tricks of the trade. Um, some of them are going to talk about, one of them is going to be the decision making process. If you're interested in doing this, whether you want to do it or not. And, and, and some of the things you need to think about and research. Uh, just make sure this is for you. Um, we're going to do a video on navigation. We'll do a video on cooking. I'm going to do a video on coffee. Because you got to have coffee if you're driving 11 hours a day. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you as well everything that happens to us and, and how to experience. use this doggone equipment. So let's look at the inside of the truck. It's a little messy. Let's take a quick look. So this is our C Link or, or Qualcomm or OmniTrax as they now call it, and it has communications, navigation. Um, That's where you get your. Um, Every day, email. You, know, you get your emails. You get your um, your load information. You get your directions. So we also have a navigation system that we brought along with us. I highly recommend you have two or three. And I just tested out another one. We're going to talk about navigation. I've got another one. I tested out today as a backup in case I've actually have two fail both of them. And you can contact Ben, and he'll get you a good price. On that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got our our. Um, temperature control system yeah which has two components one's yep. for recording 
and alarms. Yeah, this is refrigeration control system. Let's see, I can't see it. There it is. Right there. And right there. So it's kind of like driving a car, except a little bigger. It's automatic transmission. Of course, air conditioning. It's got a radio system. We have our navigation hooked into it with our. We listen to Sirius XM. And That's the on top of that entertainment, we get to look out the window and take a look at the scenery that you see out there. That's the Tennessee River, folks. Wow. Tennessee River. So this is what we get to do all day. Uh, I like to drive at night because when I drive in the mountains at night, I'm afraid of heights, and what I can't see won't hurt me. So uh, I go through the winding mountains at night, and uh, if it was day, I'd probably be afraid. But uh, I really, I don't mind driving uh, eight hours at a time. So if you like, if that doesn't bother you, this might be for you. So there you go. As so, uh, we have a series of videos coming up. Stay with us. Uh, watch some of our videos. If you have questions, contact us through the link. Like us. Like us. Subscribe. And maybe you'll be one of our co-workers one of these days. If not, sit back and watch our videos and experience what we did through this series of videos. And see the country with us. We're having a great time and hopefully you will too. Come along and enjoy the adventure with us. Anything to add? Nope. Nope. Just I'm glad to see the sun. It's been raining all day. Yeah, that's do we have to drive through we've driven through rain, slow snow, sleet, hail. We've learned we've learned how to deal with all that stuff. So we hope you'll join us as the experimental expediters. Stay with us and stay tuned for our next video.